Ali, have you ever found yourself wondering what if Wolfman from the Excellent Men had led the Alpha Strike? Well, I am here today to answer that question with What If Issue 59, which I think I might have accidentally called Issue 58 in the all video that this was on. This is written by Simon Furball. He had just finished his run on Alpha Strikes comic. And this is the only issue of What If that is based on Alpha Strike. We have artwork by Ryan Itchams. And this is the obvious big what if question when it comes to Alpha Strike. Wolfman, he was a Canadian who was gunning to lead Alpha Strike before he got involved with the excellent men. So this question is the very, very obvious thing to wonder about with Alpha Strike. I think the other one would be something like What if Gladiator didn't die? And even though this story doesn't need a day at all to explore this alternative possibility it still decides to kill off the excellent men right at the start rather than begin with Wolfman just never joining the excellent men and staying in Canada with Alpha Strike. In this, he did join the excellent men and then after their first encounter with Alpha Strike, the rest of the team died and Wolfman stayed with Alpha Strike for that reason. The only interesting thing about their death, which is so unspectacular, is that Northman is an accessory to it. Alpha Strike get a warning from the military that the excellent men are invading Canadian airspace and that if Alpha Strike didn't intercept them, then the military will have to shoot them down as an enemy craft. Northman is the one on monitor duty when this comes through and he decides to delete the message and just let the excellent men get blown apart by Canadian military ordnance. So this is basically... A Wolfman ends up on Alpha Strike because of the rest of the excellent men dying a die. They die a totally needless and embarrassing death. Why didn't Smurf just teleport away at the last second when he realised the missile was gone into it? Why didn't Steel Man just gun into his steel form and survive that way? Why didn't Storms and Squealy see the missiles coming and get out of the jet and try and face them head on, or then, when they realise the can it day out, just fly away? So, with nowhere else to gun... Wolfman, he joins Alpha Strike and then they gun on a mission that is neither a thing Alpha Strike did or a thing that the excellent men were meant to do, which is they gun and fight Annie all in the minus zone. One of my gripes with some of the issues of What If Ones like this one that are not quite as focused on one single adventure or event. Is you get stuff like this 
and I would love to see this expanded on. We only get two pages of Alpha Strike fighting Annie all, and then a montage of a bunch of other things they did, because instead it is all about the fucking Phoenix once again. Dr. X contacts Gladiator and requests Alpha Strike's help because the awe has become Dark Phoenix. But I like this page more because it has Wolfman training Sabreclaw Jr. And the notion here is that if Wolfman had never left, then Sabreclaw Jr. would have had someone who could helpfully guide him in taming his animalistic side. So now it is time to do a remake of the most over-remade excellent men story ever. Northman is afraid of Wolfman. Because he worries that Wolfman is going to eventually find out about how he was involved with the death of the excellent men. So now we get to see Alpha Strike fight the Bondage Club. This stuff is good fun. We get to see them fight Kevin Bacon and that. And Northman... He speeds in and saves the day. But then the awe comes out. And this is the best the awe ever was. For two issues when she was a member of the Bondage Club. When she realised she was a awe. And accepted that as her role in life. And started dressing the part and being evil. This is a character I could read about and not it. But then that is quickly over and she's back to being terrible. It lasted a page, fellas. Wolfman, he learns about how the excellent men died and he lashes out and attacks Northman. But it's all a fake out to get close and stab the oar when she wasn't expecting it. Because you see, quite selfishly now, Wolfman doesn't really care that much about the death of the excellent men. Because he has realised he is more at peace, leads an alpha strike. And there is our part and gift. A team shot of him leading Alpha Strike in the battle. I got through this one pretty fast, but it is a good read. It has enough little character bits for some of Alpha Strike and a bunch of fun vignettes. I do want to see most of it expanded on, but we did at least get a sizable look. At the team in action during the Dark Fenix Sadja. Quality art, some nice character scenes. And I like that it doesn't just present itself as a non-stop series of Wolfman fan fiction. This does feel like Alpha Strike were at least a part of it. Seven thumbs up.